Okay, here are two hammers I'm working on. This is my latest stubby version hammer. I polished this up a bit. And this one here is a square version that I just finished forging. What I would like to do is get somewhat of a patina on them to act as rust protection. This piece here is a piece of D2, but that's for another video. I first remove the heavy scale on this one. got this rice vinegar that I'm going to bring to a boil and then drop that hammerhead in it and let's see what happens. So the basic premise is I'm trying to create a layer of magnetite on the outside of the hammer. Magnetite, like regular red rust, is an oxide. However, magnetite is much more stable. The color of magnetite is typically a dark gray to a very deep black. Once magnetite forms on the outside of a piece, and because it's stable, then typical rust is much less likely to occur. Magnetite is a kind of oxidation that occurs when the oxygen level is low. In other words, there's oxygen present, but not enough to finalize oxidation to the point where it becomes red rust. If you can get a consistent deep black layer, it's so stable that corrosion doesn't have much of a chance to harm the steel surface. I've been using this hammer a lot lately, and just in the last two days, a lot of corrosion has formed on the surface. So I had the hammer head in the vinegar for about a half an hour. It looks pretty good. It's not a slick black, but more tending towards a dark gray, lighter black. I'll drop this polished stubby hammer in the warm vinegar and see what happens. The lighting here is probably a little better. I need to give a big shout out to my man Michael Gedeon of Rigid Ironworks for his recent very generous donation. Michael is very active on my channel and I really appreciate that. How this patina will form depends on different factors. Uh, one being the type of steel, and also how that steel is finished. Also, the type of acid you use, be that rice, white, apple, or whatever. I have an idea to use another type of liquid to try to draw this patina. Uh, maybe I'll save that for another video. So, the stubby hammer's been in there for about 10 minutes. I'll give it another 10 minutes. In the meantime, I dress the face of the square hammer. This is more interesting and much darker. I like this a lot. So again, it's obviously not black, 
just a dark matted gray, but very pleasant. Another factor I might have to consider is the temperature of the vinegar. Maybe it doesn't need to be so hot. I decide to polish the square hammer and give it another try. See if that will yield a different result. I clean off the buffing compound to the same degree that I did with the round stubby hammer. Nothing seems to be happening, no bubbling, nothing. So I decide to try to heat the vinegar once more. We maybe can't, and maybe sometimes don't want to, prevent all rust. Some of it can look pretty good. A piece like this to me becomes more interesting. But I prefer my tools to be rust free. It doesn't look much different. And it almost makes me think that the vinegar, the acidity in it, has been broken down. Uh, humidity will do that to acid, and maybe heating it up expedited that, I don't know. I decide to just let it sit for another half an hour or so. So it's gotten back to a dull gray, though to a lesser degree than the first time. So I put a handle on the square one, ready to go. Doing this patina has sparked my interest, and so I'd like to research it a bit, and I have an idea to try it in another maybe more unusual way. So stay tuned for that. and hopefully we can avoid or at least stave off some rust on our tools. I appreciate everyone who watches and contributes. I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.